with an European under 18 best in his heat of 10.29 to improve on the mark by Alex Nelson in 2005 who won this very title in 2007 in Hengelo in the Netherlands. If you haven't heard of him, you may have heard of his sister Ashley Nelson, the European senior gold medalist in the relay after the Tokyo Olympics. And we're well, talking of uh, Britons, there are three in this final, Toby Makayaru and Jerry Kwainu. Very impressive in the semi-finals. They both ran lifetime bests and were separated by just a thousandth of a second. 10.26 for the pair of them. So what a lineup this is. We start with Dominic Ilovsky, European under 18 silver medalist three years ago and Hungarian senior champion at the age of 19. 10.36 at best. Jakob Piotrusa, national junior record in Lublin earlier this year of 10.32. Also goes in the 200 meter heats a little later on. Matteo Maluzzo, a semi-final winner as well. 10.25 in Savona in Italy in May. Jerry Alquinu though, 10.78 his best until this year. Huge improvement. And impressive in heat and that semi-final win that I mentioned. Ethan Wiltshire, 10.50 best in the heat. And then 10.34. And a similar story for Toby Makayawo, another contender. We haven't even seen Arias yet. First of all, Umut Oizal, national junior record holder, indoors and out. So 60 and 100 metres. And then Arias fifth and the third at the French Championships over 100 and 200. So, incredible lineup for this final. Maluzzo, Pietrusa, all putting together their last minute preparations for this. In the sun in Tallinn, a once in a lifetime opportunity for some of these athletes to win a European medal. Ilovsky, Pietrusa, Meluzzo, Kwainu, Wiltshire, Makayawo, Uysal and Arias. The final of the men's 100 metres. <laughs> Bit of movement in the blocks. I think it was from Uysal. Now we've generally seen yellow cards given out in this competition. And the officials will have a look. We often get reaction times coming up as well. So I'll choose my words carefully until we see those. But uh, Phil, did you see anything there? Well, there was a mixture of movement across the board there. I just think it was generally unsettled. There's a bit of twitching on the far side. I think it was Matuso. Nothing obvious in the reaction times. Nobody beat the gun. Nobody was faster than the legal limit of 0 0.1. So it looks like we might well see that green card. So no issues at all. No one given a warning. And if anything, the athletes now just have to refocus, reset themselves ahead of this final and it only ups the drama and the tension in the Kadriol Stadium. A deep breath from Makayawo. Only one thing in his mind and that's this race coming up. And maybe his uh, teammate Kwainu could be among his closest competitors. It could be a surprise medalist. These athletes pretty closely matched around the 10-2, 10-3 mark. So Ilovsky, Pietrusa, Meluzzo of Italy, 10.25 athlete. Then the three Brits, Kwainu, Wiltshire and Makayawo, Uysal of Turkey and Arias. That European under 18 best in the heat. What has he got? for this final of the men's 100. 
So this time they are away. It's a decent start from Quainu, but oh so close at this point. Maluzzo in the blue of Italy trying to come through, as is Makiyaro. Still so close, Makiyaro and Arias. Oh, wow. Almost inseparable. It's 10.26 again the time. Camera focusing on Makiyaro, officially given as 10.25, a European junior lead time. And just like Jeremiah Azu won European under-23 gold, this time it's Makayawo of Britain who takes the under-20 title. Just two hundredths of a second ahead of Arias. Another European under-18 best for him, beating that 10.29 he ran in the heat. And then Maluzzo of Italy gets up for the bronze just ahead of Wiltshire. Goodness me. Just look at that, a tenth of a second separating the top five. Well, on the replay, once again, Makiyawo, a little bit slow out of his blocks, but he absolutely flies once he gets beyond the 50 meter mark. It was Arius, another slightly sluggish starter, but Arius on the outside in lane eight. I just wonder whether Makiyawo had any idea how close Arius was because Looked as though he started celebrating just a fraction before the line, and Arius, he just kept running and running and running. But in the end, it's the Briton, adding to a ridiculously long list of Britons who've won this event. And you can go back. Well, the first British winner was Lincoln Aswith back in 1983. And ever since then, well, it's been almost a solid run of success. Elliot Bunny, Jason, he Jamie Henderson... Darren Campbell, Dwayne Chambers, Mark Lewis, Francis Craig Pickering.